All right, so we're going to review real quickly um, slope-intercept form. And if we had this equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 4, the coefficient to the x is our slope. And this constant right here is our y-intercept. So to graph this equation that's in slope-intercept form, our first step is to graph the y-intercept. And it goes on the y-axis. So if my y-intercept is negative 4, then that's going to go on the y-axis at negative 4. Second step. Use your slope to find more points. Okay. Make sure that you know that it is a vertical, which is up and down. I'm still finding some of you that are struggling with that. Horizontal is the bottom number, and that's the one that goes side to side, left to right. Okay, so from there, finding more points. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. Then I can also go the other direction. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. Vertical 2, horizontal 3. And then last up. straight line. And that's all there is to that. Then we've got this next question that says, is 12, 4 on this line? So my equation was y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Now going back to Labeling this, this is x, and this is y in the ordered pair. So y, I replace with 4. And the rest of the equation stays the same. x, I replace with the x-coordinate, which is 12. And then I just evaluate this. So 4 is over here. 2 thirds of 12 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So I have 4 minus 4 or excuse me, 4 equals 4. So then my conclusion is, yes, this point, or I should say the point, 12, 4 is on the line. And I can do that without having to use the graph. Because this graph only goes to a positive 10 for the x-coordinate, so I couldn't tell from this graph if 12, 4 would be on the line. Likewise, I would use the same process. Y equals 2 thirds X minus 4. So this time, this is Y. Negative 6, Y coordinate. This is X coordinate. Okay, then I start evaluating. This doesn't play nice. 2 thirds times negative 16 will just leave as an improper fraction, negative 32 thirds. And then minus 4, this ends up with negative 14 and 2 thirds. Now notice here, these are not equal, which leads us to the conclusion that no, the point negative 16, negative 6, not on the line. Here, you're going to use slope intercept form when you know the rate. And an initial amount. Right. An airplane with no fuel weighs 2,575 pounds. Each gallon of gasoline added to the fuel tank weighs six pounds. Right. 
So if X is the number of gallons of gas, and Y is equal to the total weight of the plane, 2575, is that the slope or is that, is that your rate or is that your Y intercept? And then we've got six pounds. Is that your rate, your slope, or is that your Y intercept? So let's look for clues. It has no fuel here. Each gallon adds six pounds. So that should tell you right there. This is the Y intercept and this is the slope. So then your equation all together would be Y equals 6X plus 2575. Slope tells your rate of change. And your Y intercept tells the initial amount. Initial, I'm going to put in parentheses here, starting. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.